Act, uh, Tramway Historical Society, Don Makara, uh, page 56. Uh, good afternoon. I do have some maps to share around, so I'll just oh, drop them. Good, I was hoping you were bringing a map. <laughs> The reason I was hoping you would bring a map was because I couldn't quite fathom where where it was where it was where it was intended to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, on page two of the map, you will see uh, in, marked in red where the rails still have to go into the ground, um, Madam Chair. But, um, oh, that's great. Yeah. <coughs> Um, I'm speaking on behalf of the President this afternoon, who was no, unable to be here, the President of the Drama Historical Society. Anyway, thank you very much, if I may start, for this uh, <coughs> opportunity to speak on behalf of the Drama Historical Society's submission to this year's annual plan, on the cover of which Christchurch's iconic tram takes pride of place. We're very glad to see that. Five of the six trams operating in the city are supplied and maintained by our society. Despite all the challenges of the rebuild, the tramway marks this city as significantly different from other tourist attractions. It also acts as a catalyst for central city regeneration in that it links key nodes of our attractions together for our visitors and actually even has the capacity to create new focal nodes in the city. The temporary closure of New Regent Street last year <coughs> showed just how important the tram is to the life of businesses along its route. The tramway is now in a position to bring to fruition an important new node for Christchurch businesses and visitors, namely that in the Litchfield, Poplar, Tuam and Lower High Street areas. Now, the Innovation Precinct contains many major concerns. I won't list them, you know them. Smaller businesses are widely known to gravitate to such an area. They also gravitate and flourish where the tramway goes. Otakaro's Accessible City Programme, not the City Council, has recognised this in linking the existing track to that in Poplar Street. They have repaved the street, put in poles for overhead wires and lighting, and installed traffic signals at the complex intersection of Poplar, Tuam and High Streets, much to some people's mystification. With the tram, with the tram coming, patrons will flock to support Ducks Central, Sales, Potsticker and other local businesses beyond the present terminus at Litchfield Street. I have to mention in particular Richard Peebles's and Mike Perkowski's IPG developments between Tuam and St Asaph Streets. Both these groups are presenting their own submissions in this afternoon in support of the extension of the tram to St Asaph, among other things. Mr Perkowski told me that it is a massive issue for them and not just window dressing to have the tram in Lower High Street. He and Mr Peebles will tell you just why this is so. They see the tram as a key to the success of their developments there. Both developers will be all too aware of how businesses elsewhere in Christchurch, such as in St of Manchester and Durham Streets, have been knocked back a bit by protracted roadworks. So it is important that the installation of tram tracks in Lower High Street be completed as soon as possible. And for this, for this purpose, additional funding is required in the 2017 to 2018 annual plan. Once the tracks are in place, businesses can clearly go ahead without the lengthy disruption which track laying would involve. So what stands in the way? Well, 
We have been advised by the Capital New Works Programme that only 102,000 has been allocated for the 2017 to 18 year, 72,000 for 2018 19, but nothing whatsoever foreshadowed beyond that. However, the estimated cost of completing the line to St. Asaph Street is likely to be $3 million to cover rail laying, poles and overhead wires. Now let's put that $3 million in a historic perspective. Before the quakes, stage two of the original extension via High Street was approved and funded as far as Barbados Street. This entailed a loop to enable trams to pull trailers almost to the Catholic Cathedral, which would be another great tourist attraction. I understand that Christchurch Tramway Limited also has made a submission, which operates our trams in the city, would dearly love to be able to reinstate trailers, but would need such a loop uh, as pushing a trailer in reverse by a tram is not permissible. An interim, uh, interim loop was planned, but this would have briefly gone against the one-way traffic flow in Churm Street. Your map one will show uh, what that original plan was there. $16 million has been committed this year to cycleways. We're not against cycleways, but we understand the situation the council is in. So uh, for the time being, prepared to do without having trams pulling trailers and to terminate in a single track at St. Asaph Street. When the city is back on its feet, this single track could ultimately be continued to complete stage two, and that's on the second page of your diagram of your map there. Uh, and that would involve the original Barbados Street loop coming down through Coventry and Williams Street and back to High Street that way. Meanwhile, we are pushing to complete the Stage 1 tram line into Lower High Street, right down to the end of it. In order to do this, we are asking the Council for $3 million, which will help not only us, but also the Peebles and Perkaski developments. A professional rail and tram consultant in Australia, Mr Dale Budd, has also written a submission in, report of, in support of this to the Council draft plan. He expresses his surprise that given the potential benefits the tram would bring to Lower High Street and the massive expenditure on other infrastructure in Christchurch, he says $3 million is a bargain price. And this is in comparison, however, to the cost of building one kilometre of track in Melbourne and in other Australian cities. One final note in our submission. Currently the Tramway Historical Society is struggling to restore an electric tram car which formerly ran up Hackthorn Road in Kashmir to the sign of the Targahi. We would dearly like financial help to rebuild further actual heritage Christchurch trams. Christchurch trams, not ex Bilbon ones. However, <laughs> this is a matter on which we would like to come back to you, ladies and gentlemen, at a further date. Thank you very much. Sounds like a precursor to the long-term plan, that one. <laughs> uh, Pauline Dion. Yeah, thank you. Um, you may not know the answer to this, but that area of High Street between Churman and St Asaph, yes. currently, currently the buildings are being repaired in there, that's the Duncan uh, building. Yes, all yes. those ones along there. Are they doing any work to the road as well? Will that all be pulled up? Do you know? Uh, I, mean, I would probably suggest I, yes. I, I don't know at this stage whether um, the road is being pulled up for their purposes. Uh, I imagine there will be some underground services which may have to be checked or, uh, uh, or put in. Um, but that would be minor matters by comparison with putting in tram rails. They were there before, weren't they? The tram but tracks? Or oh, originally, way back. Yeah, yes. but not 
that many, many years ago, they were all pulled up. All pulled up. Okay, so it seems to me that if we should look at, it could be timely to put, if they're going to go in, they should go in and commensurate totally, with this we, we, we totally agree with you. We think this is, this, this is one of the main points I was trying to make there, that um, uh, there's nothing worse, uh, as other businesses in town have found, uh, than uh, having opened up their doors and hoping to get things underway, then they're held back for a long time yep. okay. uh, by roadworks. Thank you. So the, the, the street that's blocked off at the moment at High Street, where, yes. where, where you're talking about, yes. that, that can be built on in the meantime while the buildings, and all of those buildings are going to be re restored and open by, do you know? By the Perkaski uh, and uh, Peebles. No, 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 I meant time, but... Do you know? Time yeah, frame, but I can ask them when yeah, they them. when they make their yes, submission. Yes, I think it, you know. Yeah, Dion? I think my question was related to that, but I was just scrolling through the Rebuild Christchurch Facebook page because at the end of High Street, the tram tracks were only just ripped up. Last year, I think, they still were there when they did the re oh, underneath the tarmac. Underneath the tarmac. Yeah, I'm sorry, yes, they were too. Yeah, um, so that was only what I really meant year. to say was that the tram stopped running a long, long time ago. Yeah, so I just wonder, you know, there could have been some foresight there, but... There wasn't. Um, yes, the trouble is uh, that uh, I think things have changed. The, the, the old uh, rails uh, uh, are brittle uh, and, and and fragile and not really up to the job anymore. It's far better to put in uh, something of the same standard uh, as uh, as the rest of uh, of the tramway is, and to make it lastable. That's great. Look, thank thank you very much, and th and thank you for your. Um, submission. We're, we're, we're staying on the topic because I'll now invite um, Richard Peebles' visit here. He's about five, ten minutes away. Oh, he's away. So, so he's not here. Anthony's not here either. Um, we're well. We're, um, I'll let you. I'll, I'll let Yanni ask you a question then, because we we seem to have our submitters are running a bit late. I'm um, just very quickly. Thanks for your deputation. Yes. Have you considered the possibility of extending the tramway further along Ferry Road? Yes. And and what's your kind of thoughts on, you know, the future of actually just connecting more into that um, eastern area up Ferry Road? Well, the, if you look at the map that I've given you on stage two, uh, the, the second page, you'll see uh, marked in red the rails, rails that need to, to go in still, um, the new rails. Um, but um, b beyond that, you'll see that there's projected uh, a loop to go around uh, in, into... Uh, St. Days of Street are running on the uh, is a single track on the right hand side of St. Days of Street um, so able to oncoming traffic would see any tram very clearly um, and then it would turn right um, into towards Ferry Road to be a dog leg there which would take it into Ferry Road yeah. uh, uh, but going sorry. even further east Along well, it'd be wonderful if, to, if, if we could go ferry further east. It'd be wonderful to go all the way, yeah. of course. Out to the tannery. Uh, out to, <laughs> out to ferry Sumner. <laughs> out to Sumner. Out to Brighton. I mean, seriously, like, if, yeah. if, if you look at... Uh, I, I remember travelling on that line a lot when I was a kid. Yeah. If you look at the budgets that we've got for roading yeah, improvements... I know. So I'm not, I'm, if yeah. I wouldn't dare suggest that we go any further at this stage than the, than the St. Days of Street right. uh, terminus. Um, but I am foreshadowing, we are foreshadowing, the possibility of a stage two completion at some later date okay. uh, to take, uh, would, be, would be visitors, it would be, by that time maybe the, the Catholic cathedral might be rebuilt. Yeah, I was, I was more thinking from a, tr a local transport point of view, yeah. having it go somewhere like along Ferry Road to Ferry Mead or to Sumner, in mm. terms of the people actually using it getting off cars, getting up, not having buses, but going on the tram, whether well, that's something that you think would be viable. The, the thought has certainly struck my mind when I look at those terrible, pi well, not pile-ups, but great rows of stalled cars yeah. right down Ferry Road, that uh, a tramway system down there uh, uh, would, would be ideal, of course. Phil? Yeah. 
Well, my question was along the same lines, really. Just like you um, referred to cycling and cycleways, yes. and clearly they're that they're designed to be a transport option. Yes. So within the stages that you're proposing, stage one and two, would you see without t taking Ferry Road into account, not yeah. putting it aside, yeah. is there any potential for um, like currently? Um, it's like a, 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 a tourist um, vehicle, which uh, which is nice and, and attracts people, and, and it's, it could be extended. But I'm just wondering, is there also potential for it to be like a public transport option for lo local residents too? Yes, um, I, I'm, I'm sure it would be. Um, I don't know how the pricing would be done for passengers. Uh, well, you can buy a, you can buy a year's pass for sixty five dollars. Yes, that's, right. that's yes. less than a dollar a week. I mean, just over a dollar a week. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cheapest chips. Yeah. Cheapest chips. So it can it can be used for by people uh, if they buy that pass. That was yeah. some free advertising for mm. the um, <laughs> <laughs> for Thank the you. welcome aboard. Dot co dot nz. Welcome <laughs> aboard. Yes. Until <laughs> <laughs> the very right. welcome. Um, well, I don't know what's happened to the rest of our submitters, but for some reason they seem to have their timing wrong. They're probably looking for parking, that'll be it. Um, no, 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 they won't be because there's a big car park building and we've actually provided car parking for people on this occasion. Yes, yes, I'm interested. Dion, did you want to ask a question? No. No? <laughs> but like none of them are here. And they're all told to be early. early. Yeah. I could speak, uh, Madam Mayor, a little bit more about uh, the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't you uh, know. On, be, on, on their behalf. Uh, Sorry, I have haven't heard a single word you said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just behalf. joking. I'm, <laughs> Madam okay. Mayor gets a gets a reaction from me. Right. <laughs> it's not not my favourite expression, but there you go. Yeah. What would you like to raise? Uh, I was just going to say that. Uh, in talking to Mr. Perkaski, he was saying um, that uh, it's very difficult for, pen for tenants uh, to want to come on board uh, for his, uh, uh, his developments, uh, for his shops and so on that he's developing. Um, if they don't know what the situation will be regarding the tram, mm. uh, the, the, Mr. Peebles and Mr. Perkaski have both mentioned uh, uh, the tram to their potential tenants uh, and um, who are very keen to know uh, that it would actually be there so, and that the rails could be in place uh, before uh, they actually take up their tenancy. But it also makes sense, I think, um, I think this is what you're asking us to consider is that while the road is closed for the purposes of the restoration of the buildings Indeed. and all the development, that you might as well do that then rather than let them open yes. and then go back in and close it all down again. That would be ideal. <laughs> that would be ideal. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, well, you've, you've given us um, considerable right. food for thought. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, well.